Hello, everybody. It's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing amazingly well today. We are doing a review of something from the House of Montal of Paris. This is their intense cafe that we're going to be talking about. Before we jump into the review, if you'd be kind enough to hit the subscribe button, that helps us get in other people's feeds, suggested videos, and all that good stuff, and gets more eyes on our content and our channel. And it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you so much. A few weeks ago, I ordered what they call a discovery set from our friends over at Ades, A-E-D-E-S dot com. This is the Montal Paris discovery set. This comes with seven of their Theoretically, most popular strains or scents. They are two milliliter spray bottles of a number of their different scents, and I'll tell you exactly which ones they are. You get Rose's Musk, Arabian's Tonka, Intense Cafe, which we're going to be reviewing today, Sensual Instinct, Starry Nights, Oud Amazing, and Daydreams. So you get this nice little booklet with all little notes about the colognes or perfumes and that sort of thing and i think it was under 40 bucks very very reasonable to kind of check out these scents and see if any of them suit you or more importantly which ones don't suit you the notes on the intense cafe say freshly brewed coffee with hints of delicate rose lightened by a creamy base of vanilla and white musk if you were to go to fragrantica and look at the bar chart that they have, the bar graph, as it were, of the main accords. The first one is rose, the second one is vanilla, the third is coffee, and then it goes floral, powdery, musky, warm and spicy, amber and sweet. In theory, at any rate, according to them, rose dominates followed by vanilla and coffee. The top notes are denominated as floral notes, not necessarily or specifically rose, but floral. The middle notes are rose and coffee. And the base notes are vanilla, white musk, and amber. I sprayed this on my arms within the last hour to hour and a half. It does have a very intense vanilla-y, it's more chocolatey than coffee, and maybe that's because of the vanilla scent that I'm getting, that chocolate kind of bleaching into this. I think this might be referred to as a gourmand scent because it smells sort of foody or food-esque. The notes on the website LuckyScent.com are kind of interesting. They tend to give a little bit more flowery description, and I'm going to read it to you. Do you ever find yourself lingering in the coffee aisle at the grocery store, taking in deep breaths by the grinder? You are not alone. There may be no smell more comforting and compelling than the bitter, deep, mouth-watering fragrance of the coffee bean. Montal's Intense Cafe opens with a perfect waft of fresh brewing coffee that will take your breath away. The flourish of coffee bean is paired with a fresh vegetal rose. The two combine for an unexpectedly dry and refreshing top note. As the coffee softens, a vanillic white musk emerges, slightly sweetening the brew with just a hint of cream and sugar. Even in the final ambery dry down, the coffee remains as a rich and nutty presence. This addictive and surprising gourmand is suitable for both men and women and is the perfect fix for the coffee addict in all of us. This scent was launched in 2015, and I believe the nose is Pierre Montal, the guy behind the, the house of Montal. You know, they talk about coffee. There is a coffee smell in sort of a barista kind of way, like a a frothy, milky sort of scent. I don't get that real deep, bitter <clears throat> strength of coffee in this scent at all. I really don't. Vanilla, leaning towards chocolate. It's an interesting smell. It's not something that I would necessarily wear. It smells a little too sweet for me. I'm more inclined towards proper coffee, tobacco, 
and dark chocolate. You know, more earthy kind of sense. If you are familiar with Cuban cigars at all, a Serie D number four, which is a short, intense Robusto that smells and tastes like the barnyard, that's more my speed. This is a little bit too sweet for me. Young person, most definitely. Going out to the club, for sure. Summertime, I would not wear this in the summer if I did wear it. Winter, absolutely. Spring and somewhat fall, sure. But it's not for me. It really is almost too sweet for me. I, I like more subtle, more bitter, more, I, the word that is used a lot is animalic scent. This is just too much like wearing a piece of vanilla chocolate on me. It, it's, a lot of people love it. And I understand why. It's just not for my nose buds, <laughs> as it were. I have to say, the Discovery set is really freaking cool. And if you're into these scents or you're curious about the Montal house, because they have a lot of different scents. I think they got, they're up to 95 of them at this point. And they're all very interesting. Now, we did a review of the Arabian's Tonka some time ago, which was quite nice. Now, the other thing that is talked about in this scent is the rose, the florals. You know, there is some of that rose, powdery kind of, I hesitate to use the word, word old lady smell, because it really doesn't smell like the stereotypical old lady rose. It's just, it's a nice compliment. I think it sort of brings out the vanilla notes even more so. But again, this is really not for me, and it's not for people of a certain age. I do not think. As a man, you got to be under 30 to wear this. To wear it over 30 is a bit juvenile to me. Women can get away with that a little bit longer, but this is not for someone who's as long in the tooth as I am. It almost speaks that he's trying too hard. You know what I mean? If you enjoyed the review, please smash the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Please tell us why on either occasion. If there's something you want us to get to to review, please let us know in the comments down below or send me an email at uptowngirllab at gmail.com. In the meantime, stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling awesome. Please be kind to fellow human beings and their critters. It doesn't cost you anything. And we will catch you on the next review. Cheers, everybody. We love you.